Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Django Foundations as part of the series at the Full Stack Maker. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Django and get started with setting up a project. To get started with Django, we first need to install Django on our system. The first prerequisite is that you already have Python installed on your system. So to install Django, I'm just going to run my command prompt and uh, then install Django by simply typing pip install Django. So what this will do is this will uh, download the latest version of Django and install it globally on my system so that it's now accessible across my system. Right, so you can do this globally so you don't have to be at a certain part to install it. So I'm just going to wait until this installs all the dependencies. Great. So once it's installed, uh, it's successfully installed Django 2.2.5 and now we can access Django. To check if the installation is correct, we just need to type in Django admin and check uh, if it gives us all the list of the commands that is available with the Django admin. So the one, the command that we're going to use to set up a project uh, is going to be start project and we're going to quickly do that. Before uh, I do that, I'm just going to navigate to my desktop where I'm going to be creating my project. So you should navigate to whatever path, wherever you would like to create this project that we are going to work on. So as a part of this series, we are going to create a micro blog using Django and we're going to learn all the CRUD operations that are involved with creating, reading, updating and deleting a blog post. To get started with the project, uh, I'm just going to initialize a Django project. To do that, I just have to type in Django admin start project and the name of the project that I would like to say. So I'm just going to call this as CMS, which is content management system. And when I press enter, it's not going to give me anything in the prompt. But if I go look in my desktop, you will find a folder called CMS that has been initialized. Right. So this folder has a bunch of files already and let's look at them. So one of the things that we have is a file called manage.py and then another folder called CMS. So this folder CMS is what we saw as the project configuration folder in our first video. And this is what contains a settings.py, urls.py and wsgi.py. And our manage.py is the file that is the interface for the Django admin. So once a project is initialized, we would like to execute commands with the context of the project instead of just Django in general on a computer. To do that, manage.py is going to be our interface for it. So now let's quickly go to the project folder, which is CMS, execute the command python manage.py run server to get started with our um, server. So once the server runs, we can open that path in our browser and access our Django project. So once we visit the URL, we are going to see this uh, starter page. This page is what is default served by Django to let us know that we have successfully set up the Django project. And it gives us a bunch of useful links like the link to the Django documentation, a tutorial on creating a polling app and the Django community itself. And I think this is very fascinating as to we didn't have to do a lot to get to this point. Right, it's only going to get exciting from this point. I hope you're as excited as I am to learn Django in the next set of videos.